on and welcome to our prayer meeting and I thank God for opportunity and privilege to be here tonight and uh, be your pastor na magbabahagi po ng salita ng Panginoon sa gabi na ito. And thank you so much for our brethren who sent, uh, sent in their uh, prayer request, their prayer list sa ating GC. Later on, we will uh, read that and we will pray that together. So uh, please, I encourage you to send your prayer request to our GC or you can send your prayer request through our uh, live streaming. Uh, 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 I think live streaming is a FB and uh, later on we will uh, read that and we will pray for that. So for the meantime, I would like to encourage everyone to join us tonight. Na tayo po lahat, ang inyong pamilya, ang bawat isa, ay samahin niyo po kami ngayong gabi ito na tayo po umawit papuri at magpasalamat sa kabutihan ng Diyos na ginawa niya po sa atin, sa ating mga buhay. And I'd like to hi and uh, say uh, greetings for all our brethren from Maranata International Baptist Church of Maragundon. And by our pastor, Pastor Ramil Madonna and his family, and all the brethren from, from Maranata International Baptist Church of Maragundon, Pastor uh, and uh, some associate pastor, uh, the associate pastor, Pastor Mary Marquez, Richard uh, Emma Marquez, and all the ladies and uh, the gentlemen of our member of the church. Magandang, magandang, magandang gabi sa inyo. And also to our young people, so for the young peeps and the junior, magandang gabi po sa inyo. And of course, I also would like to, to greet all our brethren from the Burn of the Faith Baptist Church. The Burn of the Faith Baptist Church, na ikabide. No? Magandang, magandang, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat, mga minamahal ko kapatid sa Panginoon. And welcome to our prayer meeting sa so, lahat po dyan. Ay binabati ko po kayo ng isang magandang, 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 magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. So please send your prayer request at nabasahin po natin mga maya po yan. And of course, I also would like to greet all our brothers from different uh, countries, from Cyprus, Canada, Hong Kong, Japan, uh, Middle East, Kingdom Saudi Arabia, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and of course, dyan po sa uh, Taiwan, uh, Singapore, and uh, Sa Barco kay Neil, and of course all our brethren from different uh, places like uh, Colorado Spring, kay Sister Cathy and uh, Sister Tess Magambayan, and of course our brethren from uh, different places of Filipinas. We would like to greet you a good and pleasant e evening to all of you, our brethren. So uh, j just stay tuned and uh, join with us tonight sa prayer meeting. Of course, I'd also like to greet our sister church from Maranatha Baptist Church, Macana, Texas, USA. A good evening to you. And good morning to your place and good evening here in the Philippines. And of course, uh, Pastor Dar Miller, their pastor, their uh, pastor ng Maranat and Baptist Church, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Uh, muchos, muchos, uh, muchos, what do you call this? Buenas uh, noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches to uh, our brother from Mexico, Sister Leticia, uh, Brother Garza, Brother Reyes, and Mrs. Martha Reyes, and I'm Emily Brown. Good evening to you from Seattle Baptist Church and to the Church of the Castle Baptist Church also. And uh, we'd like to also to greet all our brethren from different churches, all the front diners. Later on, we will acknowledge you. So for the meantime, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Bago po tayo magsimula, tayo po'y manalangin. Dakilang Diyos, maraming maraming salamat po sa gabi nito. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity and for the privilege to be here and to share with the Word of God Para sa inyong mga anak, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God. Sa pagkita ng ko, we are not deserved. No worthy Father God for all of this. But uh, still, Lord God, yung inyong pag-ibig para sa amin ay tunay nga, O Diyos, na nananatili, O Diyos, para sa amin, Panginoon. Kaya nga, Lord God, maraming maraming salamat po. Ngayong gabi ito, gabayan niyo po kami sa aming pag-aaral. Ikaw ang may taas, mapapurihan, at ang bigyan ng kapurihan sa bawat sa po na ang gagawin. Ito po kami dalangin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Sige po, so welcome once again to our church, our online uh, live streaming. So just stay tuned, no? tayo po ay uh, uh, aawit na sa Panginoon. So kayo po ay, uh, hanggang po ngayong gabi nito, tayo po ay uh, umawit. Let us sing a song. Leaning on Jesus, uh, leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. Let us sing a song. Leaning on the everlasting arms. So let us sing a song. Are we put out Let us sing. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. 
Pwede mo natin? Amen? Let's see a song. Living with everlasting life. And the first verse. What a fellowship.
ng gabi ulit sa nila lahat. And praise the Lord for the singing. And thank God for privilege to sing for the Lord and sing for the Lord. So, ngayon po, bago tayo magpatuloy, mga kanilin muna po tayo ng isang special number uh, from our dear sister. So, ating pong kapatid po sa panunod na tayo from uh, from uh, actually, marami siyang mission from Cyprus and also uh, siya po ngayon isama natin ngayon sa hindi po siya ngayon sa Ciudad Nuevo and uh, she will render a, a song for us, special for us tonight Sister Irene Bagonia so, Bagona so, siya ti Irene so, Greetings in Christ's name, Church, and to everyone around the world. Uh, I will be singing, We Will Keep Our Faith Alive. Many of us Christians, when trials and pressures hits us, we often fail to trust God. But the message of the song says that even our hope starts to dim, we should trust God. And even through our darkest night, there we will see God's light. So we should keep our faith alive. Uh, I hope that the message of the song will uh, really bless our hearts.
much. Thank you so much for the singing. So maraming maraming salamat sa magandang awit po na yan. Yan po ang ating kapatid po sa pananampalataya. Ang ating kapatid, Sister Irene Bagona from MIBC Marugunon for the uh, great special. No? So uh, salamat po sa iyong pag-awit para sa Panginoon. Thank you so much for the life of the, our dear sister. Uh, siya po ay isa sa mga magagawa po natin sa Cyprus Mission at uh, kita po natin ang kanyang katapatan sa Diyos sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Thank you so much, Sister Irene Bagona, for that wonderful special. Also, I'd like also to greet our dear friend from Macau, Brother Jojo Mina. He is right now watching for us. And Pastor Larry, the mentor, Pastor Larry, I'm always praying for you for your complete healing, a complete recovery, and fast uh, recovery. Pastor, I wish you so much and uh, hope to see you soon. And of course, I'd uh, like also to greet Pastor Jose uh, Garza, uh, he's also watching right now, one of the deacon of uh, Pastor uh, Dar Miller from Maranatha Baptist Church, Macadam, Texas, USA. Thank you so much. And uh, once again, good evening once again to all of you, to all of, uh, all of us. And uh, right now, we are now in the series of study of Book of Psalms. Actually, this is not a chronological pattern from uh, chapter 1 and so on and so forth, but we are studying the Book of Psalms. So it's a uh, for for the meantime. And now, uh, we are now going to study the book of Psalm. So chapter 55, nakita ko natin dito, ang ating pag-aaralan po ngayon, chapter 55, verses 16 to 18. Let us open our Bible in Psalms chapter 55, Psalm chapter 55, verses 16 to 18. So welcome once again to our joint prayer meeting. Ang ating uh, prayer meeting service together with Maranatha Baptist Church in Maranatha International Baptist Church of Lagundon and of course, ang Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church na Cavite. So, let us open our Bible. Psalms 55 verses 16 to 18. Beginning in verse 16. If you have your Bible, so please open your Bible and let us read the book of God, the book of, uh, the, the word of God in book of Psalms. The Bible says, As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and noon will I pray, and cry aloud, and you shall hear my voice. Verse 18. The Bible says in verse 18, He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was given or was against me. For there were many with me. The title of our message tonight is The Value of Persistent Praying. Ang kalagahan po na nagpapatuloy o tuloy-tuloy na panalangin. The Value of Persistent Praying. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity and privilege to share the challenge and the word of God to your people. I know, Lord God, that I am not deserved, but because of your grace, ginawa mo, Panginoon, minigyan mo kami, Lord God, ang pagkakataon. That's why, Father God, tonight, we ask your Holy Spirit to move, to move in our beats tonight. Gabayan mo kami, Panginoon, ingatan mo kami, Panginoon, at gawin mo, Lord God, ang bagay na ito, ang sitwasyon na ito, na maging papapala para po sa aming lahat. Speak to us, Father God, and move in our beats tonight. Ikaw ang makita, hindi ang yung lingkod, kundi ikaw o Diyos ang siyang may taas sa aming kalagitan. Salamat, Panginoon, sa gabing ito, sa pangalan ng Jesus. Amen and amen. The value of persistent praying. Dito po sa binasa mo natin sa Book of Psalm, chapter 55, kung inyo po susisayin, babasahin po natin dito ang mula doon sa verse 1 hanggang doon po sa verse 13, o sa verse 13, 23 ng Book of Psalms chapter 5, 55. May kita natin dito, wala doon po sa verse 1 hanggang verse 15, may kita natin dito, ito po yung isang tao, here is a man of faith in a great trouble. Yung isa pong uh, uh, taong mananampalataya o merong isang pa, may, uh, pananampalataya o mga awit, no, sumulat na ito ng uh, Psalm chapter 55, may kita natin dito, he is a man of faith na ano saan ay nakaka-experience po ng great trouble. I know all of us are the same thing. 
No, ikaw at ako sa panahon ko ngayon, we also even though we are in 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 the in a in, in, in church, we are a church member, we are Christians, we have a faith, we have faith, but still katulad po ng mga awit na ito, still this man had experienced a great trouble in his life. We will see here that yung kanyang takot, fear had seized the psalmist's heart. Yung kanyang puso po, ito po yung pumipigil sa kanya, sa, na muntik na pumigil sa kanya para ang kanyang puso ay talaga namang ay magtiwala at talaga namang magpatuloy sa kanyang buhay. Ito rin po na kung saan makikita natin dito na he longed to fly away. Gusto niya takasan, gusto niya alisan no? from his problems. Kagaya nga nung binasa po natin dito sa book of Psalms, no? chapter 55, makikita mo sa verse 6. Sabi dito sa verse 6, And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dog, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Maybe the situation for this troubled man, a uh, man of faith, na kung saan na-experience ng great trouble, may possibly he was in a terminal of situation na kung saan gustong-gusto niya nang sumuko. Siguro gustong-gusto niya nang bumigay because of the problems na meron siyang na-experience sa kanyang buhay. Kapatid, marahin ikaw din. Marahin tayo po ay nasa ganun itong kalalagayan po ng mga awit na ito. We are having the same experience na parang feeling natin we are longing to fly away. And, uh, fly away from this problem, from the problem that we have. No? Kaya nga sabi niya, ang plan pa nila nga niya, gusto ko sana magkaroon ng pakpak, ng isang ibon, na kung saan malayo, makalipad, at makapagpahinga. At dito po, makikita natin dito, hindi lang po ito yung na-experience niya, even yung kanya mga close friend, yung kanya mga kaibigan, in verses 12 to 14, makikita natin dito, even those close to him, had turned on him. So, he was in a great trouble. Kaya nga sabi sa verse 12, For it was not an enemy that reproached me that I could be, have, have, have borne it, neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me, that I would have hid myself from him. Verse 13, But it was thou a man might equal my guide and my acquaintance. Could you imagine that even this friend, the very friend of this great, of uh, this man of faith, itong mga awit na ito, he... Uh, had experience, experience na siya ay iwanan. You know, sometimes may mga bagay tayo na naka-experience po na ganito na kung saan may pangangailangan tayo gusto natin lumapit at hindi natulong sa ating mga kakilala at maraming mga kaibigan. Sometimes ay parang feeling natin tayo ay iniiwanan sa ere. O ito yung God because ikaw at ako at maraming ang ating mga kapatiran na hindi katulad ng mga taong ito kundi tayo ay lumalapit at nagbibigay ng tulong. Sana ikaw, kapatid, ganun ka rin. Kapag nilapitan ka at hinihingan ka ng problema sa panahon ito, ay mabigyan mo rin sila ng encouragement sa pamamagitan ng salita ng Panginoon. This troubled man chooses to call on God. Ito po yung kaibahan lamang po. Itong mananampalataya na ito, itong mga awit na ito, despite of the great trouble that he experienced, he still chooses to call on God. Kapatid, Itong binay, itong babasahin, pag-aaralan po natin ngayon. It's the same situation that we have right now. We are experienced problems in lives. We are in the midst of pandemic. We are in the midst of starvation. We are in the midst of uh, kakulangan sa ating buhay. Maybe you are in the midst of sickness. Or you are in the midst of uh, wala, maraming pangangailangan. But you know, despite, despite of this situation na mga awit na ito, this psalmist, he chooses to call on God. Sana, ikaw kapatid, ako, at tayong lahat po, sa panahon na tayo po in times like this, we choose to call on God. Kaya dito po sa ating pag-aaralan po na we will see here in verse 16. Ang sabi ng Bible in verse 16, And as for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Kita ko natin dito, prayer will be his unfailing resource. Ito po yung kanyang sandigan. He has faith to believe God will deliver him from danger. Church, sana itong panalangin, itong wika, the statement of this psalmist is the same statement that we have right now in our situation. That in times like this, you and I experiencing many problems in this world, we need to choose or let us choose to call 
on God. Kaya nga gabing ito, may kita ko natin dito yung persistency. Yung, yung persistent praying po ng mga awit na ito. And tonight, we will study, we will see from the Word of God the value of persistent praying. Ipakita natin dito, pag-aralan po natin ngayon dito, yung, yung character, yung value, na ano ba ang nagawa ng pananangin. Dito po sa verse 16, 17, 18, this troubled man of faith, na kung saan, despite of the situation that, she, that he had, no, he was uh, in the situation of fear. He was in the situation of revenge. He was in the situation when when his friend betrayed him. But in spite of this, we will see here from the the light of the word, the light of word of God. May ito mo natin dito. No, merong pung tinuturo. No, merong mo tayong makukuha ng aral. We will uh, get from this. Uh, this uh, book of Psalm in chapter 55, the principle, the biblical principle, how to value yung panalangin. That's why tonight, pag-aralan po natin, bakit ba mahalaga? At kay, bakit nga ang, ang panalangin na ito, ng mga awit na ito, ay mahalaga at makakatulong po sa atin bilang isang kristyano? Nasa panahon na tayo po ay nasa sitwasyon ng takot na marahil ikaw ay may karamdaman, natatakot ka. Marahil ikaw ay merong kagutuman, natatakot ka. Marahil ikaw ay merong sitwasyon ngayon sa buhay mo na parang feeling mo na sabingit ka ng alanganin, natatakot ka. O marahil may galit ka sa puso mo that you are in the situation that you have bitterness, anger for somebody and you want to revenge. Or maybe you are in the situation na parang feeling mo iniwan ka na ng mga kaibigan mo, ng mga kaanak mo, na parang wala kang inaasahan. Why not to take this opportunity to, to get some principle, a biblical principle from Book of Psalm chapter 55, kung ano ang ginawa ng mga awit na ito, ng manunulat ito, at ano ang pwede niyang ibigay sa ating aral ngayong gabi nito sa pamamagitan ng Panginoon. Let us study. Number one, ano ba yung pwede maibigay sa ating encouragement. Ano ba yung pwede nating makita? Dito sa talatang ito, sa mga talatang ito, ang gustong ibigay na paalala po sa atin. Ito po yung unang paalala, the first reminders of this psalmist to us that this is a continual praying. This is a continual praying. Dito po sa binasa po natin dito, may kita natin dito na despite of the situation of this psalmist that he has or he had a great trouble in his life, ay siya po ay nanatili, nagpatuloy. Siya po ay meron pagpapatuloy sa pananalangin. Kaya nga nung sinabi po doon sa verse 17 ng Psalms chapter 55, Evening and morning and noon will I pray. Church, may kita natin dito sabi ng mga awit, He will pray at evening and morning and noon. Na kahit po na siya ay nasa sitwasyon ng kagutuman, nasa sitwasyon siya ng takot, nasa sitwasyon ng paghihiganti, at nasa sitwasyon na siya iniwan and his friend turn away from him. But still, ang sabi niya, I want to be consistent. And this prayer, I will continue. This prayer of mine. Kahit sa umaga, kahit sa gabi, at maging sa tanghali. You know, kapatid, this is a great challenge for us. We will see here that He will pray. Sabi niya, ako'y pananalangin. We will see here, yung sitwasyon po, nung taong ito, na sumulat po na ito, ng Book of Psalms chapter 55, na kahit na meron siyang kaguluhan sa kanyang buhay, ay hindi siya tumigil mananangin at makipag-usap sa Panginoon. Sana kapatid, ganun ka rin po. Na kahit na ikaw po ay nasa sitwasyon ng kaguluhan, marahin ikaw ay may karamdaman, may kakulangan sa iyong buhay, do not stop to pray. We will see here the value of persistent praying. It is a continual praying just like Paul. Si Paul po ang encouragement, he will pray without ceasing. In verses of Romans chapter 5 verse 17, na sabi niya, pray without ceasing. Manalangin tayo ng walang patid. Kapatid, ano mang sitwasyon na meron kang pinagdadaanan sa buhay mo, let us continue and let us pray without ceasing. Kapatid, ano mang mga problema, kasakitan, karamdaman, nangyayari sa buhay mo, do not stop to pray. 
Huwag kang huminto sa panalangin. Huwag kang huminto makipag-usap sa Panginoon. We will see here the manner of this psalmist. Sabi niya, yung kanyang panalangin, his implication will be ever before the throne of grace. Na kahit na siya ay hindi pa nakatitiyak na ito ay makakarating sa trono ng kaharian, ang awa ng Panginoon, but still, he wants to pray, pray and pray. You know, he will. He is a very optimistic Kita ho natin dito na sa kabila ng kanyang kagutuman, sa kabila ng kanyang tapos, sa kabila ng kanyang problema, despite of the problem, despite of the starvation, despite of anger, despite of revenge, despite of being being alone, he never stopped to pray. Church, let this encouragement from the, from the book of Psalms, chapter 55, from the psalmist, ay sana tayo na po ay magkaroon po tayo ng continu- continual praying. Why? Because God will be His unfailing resource. Itong mga awit na ito, He is very sure that God ang kanyang unfailing resource. You know, in times like this, this is a time of great need. Sa panahon po natin ngayon, nung panahon sa sitwasyon po ng mga awit na ito, wala siyang ibang Pwede takbuha because iniwala siya ng mga kaibigan niya, iniwala siya ng maray ng mga tao sa paligid niya. Nandun na yung galit, nandun na yung takot. Pero sa panahon ng lahat ng bagay na nangyari sa kanyang buhay, wala siyang ibang pinagtuunan ng kanyang panahon kundi mananangin at lumapit sa Panginoon because he believes that God will be his unfailing resource. Kaya kapatid, in time of great need, in times like this, why not you to come to the Lord? Why not you to bring to God your supplication? Why not you to bring to the feet of God your prayer request? Why not you to come to the Lord? Wala kung hindi mo para wala ka ng ibang matatakbuhan para feeling mo terminal na ang iyong mga sitwasyon sa iyong buhay. Why not you to come to God and do not stop in praying? You know, he therefore sees it as a time for persistent praying. Nakikita niya Alam niya, nararamdaman ng Panginoon at ang Diyos ang nakakaalam ng bawat puso ng kanyang mga anak. The same manner of this psalmist, he knows that despite of the situation that he that he had during that time, sabi niya, God, sabi niya, God's ears always open to my prayer. This is the same thing. You know, church, ang tenga po ng Panginoon ay laging bukas sa mga nananalangin na merong passion. Passionate prayers. Kaya nga, we need to come to the Lord. Let us continue to pray. Let, do not stop to pray. Habang hindi pa binibigay ng Diyos, habang hindi pa tinutugo ng Panginoon, do not stop to pray. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, Let us therefore come boldly Tayo po'y lumabi sa Panginoon ng malakas ang loob unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Church, this is a very clear statement from the book of Hebrews na the book, the writer encourages us and let us come to the Lord boldly. At para makita ng Panginoon at makita, we may obtain, makamit natin yung awa ng Diyos at ang kanyang grasya sa panahon na katulad na ito na nangyayari po sa ating mga buhay. It is very timely, this message tonight. I don't know your situation. I don't know your problems. I don't know your troubles. But one thing I'm sure that despite or even you have a great problem, even you have a big problem, it is not comparable to our big God because the big problem, we cannot compare the big problem to our big God. Why? Because our God is bigger compared to our big God, a big problem. Church, let us come to the Lord boldly that we may obtain mercy and grace and help in time of need. That's why the very lesson from this book of Psalm chapter 55, the manner of this man of faith, the attitude of this man of faith, the despite of situation that, that he had, he never stopped to pray. 
And this is the continual praying. Sa binasa ko natin sa verse 16. Not only this is a continual praying. Hindi lang po ito yung nagpapatuloy na pananamin na kahit anong problema. But it is also a continuous praying. This is a continuous praying. Ano namin sabihin ng continuous praying? Yung nakakahawa na panalangin. Yung nakakahawa. Yung nakakadala. Nakikita natin dito sa verse 17. Mababasa natin, And cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. Sino hindi makakahawa? Kasi he knows na sigurado siya na ang kanyang pananangin at ang kanyang iyak sa Panginoon at ang kanyang salitang malaas sa Panginoon ay maririnig ng Diyos. Ito po yung panalangin po ng mga awit. Sabi ni Harry David, intention niya po ito. David intends for others to know of his prayers. Church, do not stop in praying and do not be discouraged for your situation na meron kayo, but instead, pray with a loud voice. Let others know that you are praying despite of the situation, despite of problems in your life. Still, you are talking to God, communicating to God, telling to God, Lord, this is my situation. You know, David will cry aloud so others can join him. Hindi nakakahawa po. I have a uh, pamangkin, si Baby C. You know, it is a good, uh, uh, no, no good example. When we when we, we are praying, nakikita niya na kami ay pumipikit at tumahawak ng kamay na like this and nagsasalita. And every time na ginagawa po namin yun habang kami ay nasa dinner, nasa lunch, ginagawa niya, ini-imitate ini, ini, ini niya. He imitating the, the, the gesture, the, 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 the closing eyes and praying. Kita natin dito, ganito po dapat yung maging attitude po natin, ganito po dapat yung maging manner po natin na ito si King David despite of the great trouble that he had in his life but he never stopped to pray but instead he encouraged people to pray to see, with it, to see him na siya nananalangin. Na meron siyang lakas ng loob. This is a bold praying that prevent praying na kung saan meron siyang lakas ng loob na makita ng mga tao na kung ano mag sitwasyon na meron siya. Hindi siya titigil mananangin at siya'y magpapatuloy na mananangin para sa Panginoon. Sana kapatid, ganun din po tayo na kahit po nasa sitwasyon na meron tayo mga problema that we are in the midst of problems and troubles in our lives. Sana makita ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay na hindi ka tumitigil na manalangin at lamapit sa Diyos. Sana kapatid na kahit na ikaw ay nasa sitwasyon ng pandemya, na kung saan ikaw ay nahihirapan sa sitwasyon ng buhay mo ngayon, sana ikaw ay makahawa at magka-encourage ng mga tao sa paligid mo na wala kang ibang tinatakbuhan kundi ang Panginoong Isa Kristo na nagkapagligtas ng iyong buhay. I hope Makita ng mga tao the kind of attitude, a kind of people that truly trusted God despite of the situation na pinagdadaanan niya sa kanyang buhay. Just like David, he prayed with boldly, with boldness. At hindi siya tumitigil manalangin kundi nangahawa pa siya ng panalangin sa ibang mga tao. But let this prayer, no? this prayer ay hindi tayo titingin ng anumang pag-alilangan. This prayer that not holds nothing back. Na kung tayo po ay mananalangin, let us make sure that we are believing that our voice needs before God. He will voice his needs before God. Tayo kita natin dito si David nilapit niya sa Panginoon ang kanyang pananangin. Kita natin dito sa mga awis sa sumunod na ito ng Book of Psalms na siya po ay nananangin na sinabi niya sa Panginoon at hindi niya lang sinabi na ito sa Panginoon kundi hindi niya pinag-alilangan but he instead expecting answers from the Lord. Sometimes kapag nananangin tayo, misang pinagdududahan natin, totoo ba talagang gagaling ang karamdaman ko? Totoo ba talagang magkakaroon ako ng magandang trabaho? 
Totoo pa, magkakaroon ng maayos kapatid. Kung nananalangin ka sa Panginoon at pinaniniwala mo na ang Diyos ay makapangyarihan sa ano pa man, kanino pa man, why not you to expect answers from the Lord? Kung hindi masagutin ng Panginoon, we believe that God has a great plan for our lives. Instead. Kapatid, ito ang natin dito si David. Itong mga awit na ito, nasumulat po ng book of Psalms chapter 55. Na kahit na po sa tingin ng ibang tao ang katawa-tawa ang ginagawa niya, but he will risk the ridicule of those who hear him pray. Ano pa kiko? Kahit na nahihirapan ako, kahit na sitwasyon ako ng kaguluhan, kahit sa piling ko na pinagtabuya, pinag iniwanan na ako ng lahat ng mga kaibigan ko, but this thing, itong mga bagay na ito, ay hindi makapagpipigil sa akin. Do not hinder me to pray and talk to God. Church, I don't know your situation, but let not your situation may hinder your communication, your prayer, your communion to the Lord. But instead, let us pray boldly and fervently praying to the Lord just like what David did. You know, kahit na sa situsyon ka ng problema, sana huwag kang tumigil sa pananalangin. Just like what Paul and Silas did in a prison. Kita ko natin sa book of Acts chapter 16, this kind, this is the kind praying Paul and Silas did in prison. Na kahit na po sila ay nakakulong, kahit na po sila was hindered, was in the jail, was in prison. But this kind of situation, this kind of heartache, this kind of problems shall not hinder him, shall not hinder them to pray, to pray, to pray, and to pray. In Book of 16, we know about the story of this. When they prayed in the dungeon, they prayed down an earthquake. Kita po natin dito, nasaksiyan po natin, napag-aralan na po natin dito. Not only them na nakarecognize na nun, even the other prisoners heard them and witnessed the answer of their prayers. Church, kung hihinto ka sa pananangin because you are experiencing some problems in your life, walang makakakita ng himala, walang makakasaksi ng gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo kung paano kanya babaguhin, kung paano niya aayusin ang iyong buhay. Let your life become a good testimony and example for others. And I really do believe na ang Diyos ay nasa tamang at perfectong panahon kung to, saan tutugon sa kanyang mga panalangin. That's why do not stop to pray. Even you are in the situation na kung saan hirap na hirap ka na, pagod na pagod ka na, at takot na takot ka na, why not you to come to the Lord and let the Lord be the one who makes a, a way for you and someday kapag sinagot ng Panginoon na panalangin mo, others will hear them and will witness you ng sagot ng Panginoon sa iyong mga panalangin. And that is the chance para ikaw ay makapagbahagi ng kabutihan ng Diyos. You know, Church, sa panahon ko na ito, this is enough for this time that we pray that moves neither God nor man. This is a very tiny situation. Ito po ay tapat na na makita ng Diyos, na makita ng mga tao, na ikaw ay nagtitiwala sa Panginoon. Sapat na ang panahon na ito, na ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay mo from the very beginning, hindi ka pababayaan ng Panginoon. Kaya kung dumating mo sa panahon na ikaw ay merong problema, merong karamdaman, at may mga pagsubok na pinagdadaanan, why not you? to come to the Lord and do not stop to pray and do not stop to talk to God and believe sa pangako ng Panginoon. Church, when you pray, pray big. Why? Because our God is a big God. Let's pray big and get answer to our prayers. Sana ikaw Sa panahon na ito, na dumadana sa problema, just like what happened to the psalmist, the writers of the book of Psalms 55. Ang pagpapahalaga niya sa kanyang pananalangin because he believed na siya ay magkakaroon ng 
resulta sa kanyang patuloy na pagpapanalangin. At dahil sa kanyang pagpapatuloy na panalangin ay makakahawa siya sa ibang mga tao na sa panahon ng kaguluhan, problema, kagutuman at takot, wala silang ibang lalapitan kundi ang Panginoon na kanilang Diyos. Church, let this prayer, let this study, let this book of God, Psalms 55 become an encouragement for us na kahit na po tayo ay nasa sitwasyon na may problema tayo, do not stop to pray. At sana ikaw at ako ay makahawa sa ibang mga tao na kung saan ay dumaranas din ang problema, ay sila'y lumapit at magtiwala sa Panginoon. Sana ikaw, kapatid, mahawaan mo ang iyong mga mahal sa buhay. Na makita ang tunay na pagiging kristyano, na makita sa buhay mo, na kahit na may problema ka, na mayroong pinagdadaanan ka, hindi ka humihinto na magtiwala at manalangin sa Panginoon. Let's pray B and get answers to our prayer. This is a continuous, continuous prayer. That's why do not stop. Sana makahawa po tayo. Thirdly and last, the value of persistent praying, makikita po natin, ang, ang, ang makukuha po natin dito, makikita po natin dito, what, will, what kind of lessons that we get from this book of Psalms chapter 55, this is a confident praying. May dito ko natin to, this is a confident praying. Meron tayong kumpiyansa. Meron po tayong kasiguruhan. Kaya sabi niya rito sa verse 17, And he shall hear my voice. This psalmist, this writer of books of, book of Psalm chapter 55, he is very confident that when he prayed to the Lord, he shall hear ng Panginoon. Kaya yeah, is very confident that he should hear my voice. You know, David expected to hear an answer ng Panginoon. He expected God to hear him and to answer all his prayers. Kita natin din sa verse 18. He remembers answer in the past and expect them again. So in verse 18, then Psalm 55, He had delivered my soul, wow, and peace from the battle that was against me, for there were made with me. He remembered, Lord, this situation that I have right now, you fear, you you you. Anger, yung revenge, yung betrayal ng mga kaibigan ko, dumadanas ako ng problema ngayon, Panginoon. But when he remembered his past, na kung saan na situation siya ng kaguluhan, that King Saul trying to kill him, but God saved him, in situation na kung saan nandun si Goliath na napakalaking tao, but he saved him, Nung nanubo siya sa malaking oso at mga liyon, ang ginawa ng Panginoon, iningatan siya. Sa panahon pa kaya ng sitwasyon na kanyang kalalagayan, ay hindi siya siligtas at ingatan ng Panginoon. Kaya ang sabi ni King David, He had delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. Kapatid, how many times that God never leaves you nor forsake you? How many times that God is always with you in times of trouble? Ngayon, nasa sitwasyon ka ng problema na naman, why not you to give to the Lord and give to the Lord everything that you have right now in your life? Why not you to put your trust in the Lord? It is better to put our trust in the Lord. Why not you to come to God and pray to the Lord, Lord, here am I. Andito po ako, nakaka-experience na naman ang mga kagulimihan na problema sa aking buhay. Please save me. You know, the Bible is very clear to His promise in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, Do not be discouraged nor be dismayed, but be courageous because God is with you always wherever you go is. And that promise ay pangako ng Panginoon na hindi ka papabayaan at hindi ka naiiwan. Kapatid, the promise of God from the Old Testament up to the New Testament churches is the same promise to you today. Just claim it that God will never leave you nor forsake you. 
We should pray with expectancy. Kapag nalalaman ka, patid, when you pray to the Lord, expect with expectancy. Expect mo na sasagot din ang Diyos ang iyong panalangin. At kung hindi mo sagutin ang Diyos, nag-oo, marahil meron pang mas matindi at magandang plano ang Diyos para sa iyo. At kung hindi mo sa ngayon, just learn how to wait. Dahil sa paghihintay po ay meron pong magandang bunga na naghihintay. But ang importante po, let us value the persistent praying. Why? Because we do believe that our confidence is from the Lord. We can pray and believe and receive. But if we can pray and doubt, we will go without. Church, nasaan ang iyong kontiyansa? Nasa pera ng sandibutan? Nasa mga kaibigan? Nasa sandibutan ba ang iyong pag-asa? Kung babasahin niyo po ang book of Psalm chapter 55 verses 1 to 14 hanggang 15, makikita po natin dito kung paano ang manunulat na ito was in the great trouble. He was in the situation that he wants to flee from the fear. He was in the situation that he wants to flee for revenge. He was in the situation that he was betrayed by a friend. Still, this man of faith trusts in the Lord in verses 16 up to verses 23. Kita mo natin dito. That's why this psalmist, this psalmist, he able to say, He shall hear my voice. Ganon din po sa situation po natin. Naririnig ng Diyos ang bawat boses na yung kalalan. Come to the Lord, pray to the Lord, and tell to the Lord whatever in your heart, whatever in your mind. God is willing to listen to you, and God is able to help you because He is always with us. When we pray, let us believe and we will receive. But if you pray, And that, I assure you, you will go without. This prayer, this confident, this is confident praying na ginawa po ng mananulat sa book of Psalms 55. That's why you never stop to pray. You continue to pray. That's why sa kanyang pagkapatuloy ng pananangin is able to continue sa tumanghawa ng mga tao sa kanilin niya. That we need to encourage other people with talking to God and putting trust in the Lord is our best weapon to overcome the situation that we have right now. Let us put our confidence in the Lord. Let us come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Consider the fervent prayers of Jesus in Gethsemane. You will see here how God the Father has truly loved God, Jesus. When we pray and get answered, the world will take notice. That's why do not stop. Kung magagalit ka because you are in a situation of great trouble, You were not able to encourage people to come to the Lord. But instead, you lead them into a miserable life. But if you pray with the fervent prayers, I assure you that one day, if you believe and practice your faith in the Lord, one day, God will answer all your request. And people will notice that your God, our God, is a true living God, a powerful God, a big God compared to our big problem. That's why there is no big problem compared to our big God. Why not get to come to the Lord, trust the Lord, pray to the Lord, and give value for praying. 
do not stop, but instead continue to pray and pray and pray. In times like this, I don't know your situation. I don't know your problems. I don't know your situation, circumstances. But one thing I'm sure, one thing I'm sure, if you come to the Lord in prayer and give to the Lord all your burdens, God is always open His ear to listen to your supplication. Church, let us encourage one another to come to the Lord. And let us encourage other people sa ating mga paligid na makita na sa kabila ng problema ay nasa Diyos ka pa rin na nakitiwala. God is a smile at magandang nabibig sa kita. Let us come to the Lord in prayers. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you. Salamat po Panginoon sa aming pong napagtalalan po ngayong hapili po. I know, Father God, that marami kami mga problema ang binaranas sa aming mga buhay. But one thing we should, Father God, that we are in your hands. We are in the situation that we are very much protected by God. Because you love us. You take care of us. Let's say, Father God, tonight, kami na malapit po sa iyo. Ang malangin at nagpupuri. That we may able to give value, magbigay ng kahalagahan sa pananalangin. Maraming attraction ang mundo, nandyan ang telebisyon, ang internet, Facebook, and everything that may hinder us, Lord God, to give value Lord, help us that we may be able to overcome this. And we may be able to seek you first in our lives. Help us, Lord Jesus. Salamat, Panginoon, sa paalala mo, sa pag-aaral namin ng Book of Psalm chapter 55. That the great example of man of faith, even he is in a situation that is in great trouble, but still he chooses to come and pray and call to you. Because he believed that there is nothing na pwede niyang pagtiwalaan kundi ikaw lamang po, Panginoon. Sana ganun din po kami, Panginoon. Ganun po yung aming maging attitude, maging manner, that the only hope na meron kami is from the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father God. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo, Church. And uh, nawa ay naging malaking hamon po sa atin ang aralin po na ito sa ating pag-aaral po ng Psalms chapter 55 verses 16 to 18. That let us encourage one another to pray to the Lord. Let us encourage one another to practice, to give value. To give value yung ating po palalangin sa Diyos. And now, we are now about to read some prayer requests from our brethren number one from the Bernabel of Faith Baptist Church Mission I would like to read loudly yung kanila po mga prayer requests una po si Sister Anna Liban to Dicano ang kanyang request po ay uh, para sa ating lahat restoration and spiritual revival guidance and protection for everybody at sa mga nasa ibang bansa Ingatan sila, sila Dani, Inis, Abby Bibelin, Maricar, and Tanji, at Good Health. Of course, we will continue to pray for that. Thank you, Sister Anna. Sister Erlene Dogime, please pray Good Health, Knowledge, and Wisdom, Provision, Safety, Bakuna contra COVID, Pastors, Good Health, and Strength, Safety, and Wife, Family of Pastors, Salamat po. Thank you so much, Sister Erlene, for considering us to your prayer list. Salamat po. Sister Dana, ang kanyang prayer request. Good health sa trabaho po ng tatay ko sa Saudi. Maging mas maayos yung employer niya na hindi magkaproblema dahil sa nangyayari ngayon. At matapos na tong COVID natin. Good health po sa family ko at sa family ng church. Thank you so much. 
Sister Dana, Brother Owe, and Amparado, prayer request, good health for everyone, spiritual maturity for everyone, people who doesn't know Christ, praying for them and get saved God's provisions for everyone. Thank you so much, Brother Owe, for that prayer list. Sister Rowena de Rosario, back in ko po, pag-pray niyo po yung aking back eight, sobrang talagang sakit at sa nalalapit na CD operation, uh, cesarean operation, panganganak po ni Pearl Ann, pag-pray po natin, CS operation ng aking pamangkin, si Pearl Ann, panganganak na po. We will pray for that, Sister Rowena. Tabi Anne, na kayang prayer request ko po ay nasa Good Health Financial, ex financial Exam po ni Sherwin at sa lahat mo ng kapatiran, marusog, sana mawala na ang covid We we'll surely pray for Brother Sherwin's prayer request. Kanya isa. Sister Marie, Maricar, tama po ito, no? From uh, Kingdom Saudi Arabia, good help po to reach everyone, safety of my family. Kuya James, thank you so much for praying, always praying for Kuya James. Pray to heal all nations and good help to Pastor Ray and Sister Shay, protections and church and member na maging okay na lahat. Thank you so much for that prayer request. Thank you. Prayer request for the church, Lynn Danit. Good health and safety for me and my family, relatives, elders, members, our pastors and pastor's wife, family, spiritual strength, financial needs, ministry, God's provision, peace of mind, world health, all frontliners, President Duterte, governments, our kupo, family ni Julius at sa health ng safety nila. More blessings, pray for PUI and PUMs, COVID positive, breathe bubble daily, always pray to the all. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for your prayer request. Ang haba po, but we will consider that for the people natin. Kalusugan, Brother Julius. Kalusugan, relasyon ko kay God, work and new job seeking, family ko po, salvation nila, cherish need, need help niya, at family safe. Thank you so much for your prayer request, Brother Julius. And, uh, okay, so, uh, Sister Steph, Akin, Tumika, uh, good health sa lahat, maging safe sa kanya, Uh, the COVID pandemic, amen. Sa mga sa pandemic pala. So we we'll pray for that. Okay. Of course, Sister Ayen, di ako makapanood. Okay, ito lang po. Okay. We pray for that. Thank you so much, Sister Ayen. But still pray for that. Po. Sa Maragundun naman po, let us read your prayer list sa Maragundun po. Okay. Ang kanilang prayer ko, Sister Irene Bagona. Okay, ang kanyang pong prayer request, pakisama po si Mark sa prayer ninong pastor, maayos ang lahat, ang kasikasuin ni school, at makabiyahin na sa North, salamat po. We will pray for that for you also, Sister Irene, na kayo ka po ay maka-abroad uh, na po at makatrabaho na. And of course, kay Mark. Nanay Emmy, pastor ay pakisama po si Diane, pag-iingat po sa kanya sa alabang, na po siya, pakipray po din po ang uh, si Ripson, ano Rin po si our kitchen nila, si Rickson, at Bilin, thanks po. I, our kitchen, yung kanilang business, we'll pay for that. Thank you so much. Ma'am Cress, by the way, congratulations uh, si, uh, si, parang Ma'am Cress, anak na Ma'am Cress? Si Maris, congratulations for uh, graduation, pati kay, kay, uh, kay uh, kapatid ni Elias, si, yung mendo na dito. Ano pa rin niya, Sister Joy? Kapag ni Elias? Si Sayreen! Kino na dito, parang sa kami na lang. Thank you so much, congratulations po sa inyo lahat. At as we should say, not na salada. Okay, so pag-pray po natin. Congratulations po sa lahat ng graduate. Of course, sabi po ni Mark Cress, work po ni Mark. Pray po natin. Maris to pass the PUP capsule entrance exam. We prefer for that. Good health and protection. Makuha na yung car sa casa para makapunta na sa church. Church programs and projects. Thank you so much for your prayer visit, uh, Ma'am Cress. Nanay Linda, ang kanyang prayer request, protection, good health po para sa ating mga pastor at family nila, sa lahat po ng mga members, sa mga missionaries, ngayon din po sa family ko. We consider it for prayer. Uh, brother okay, Roger, good evening po, Pastor. Pakipray po. Pakipray. Good and family, mga pastor and family. Apo, Nanay Roger, we pray for that. Okay, Nanay Linda, Peher, uh, pray no? Pakipray po kami na masakit po, po ang binti ko. We we'll pray for you, Nanay Linda. Okay, so alam ko yung iba po, may mga prayer dito sa po, but still, uh, general prayer, pray po namin ang ating mahala pastor, Pastor Adona, 
At uh, I thank God we are now answer prayer because this coming uh, end of this month, Sunday, our Pastor Adorno will go to McAllen, Texas, USA. So Maranatha Baptist Church, confirm na po yun, uh, according to Pastor Dara Miller. At uh, thank God for the great provision for our pastor. Amen. Pastor Adorno, thank you so much. But still, pray for our pastor for the safety. Pastor Adorno, yung kanyang safety, travel, of course, yung kanyang pag-stay doon. At ingatan siya ng Panginoon at hanggang sa makauwi po siya. So, para pag-pray din po natin mga kapatid na siya, ba't masa, maging ating mga pamilya, pag-pray po natin. Of course, our government. So, lahat po ng ating mga prayer requests, let us come to the Lord in prayer, a quick prayer, silence prayer, silent prayer. Pag-pray din po natin ang uh, mga sister churches natin, ating Maranatha Baptist Church, Macanon, Texas, ang Gethsemane Baptist Church, Logos Baptist Church, Berglatan, uh, General Trias, all the pastors, also frontliners, pag-pray din po natin yan. And of course, pag-pray din po natin ang bawat isa, Okay, and that I'm not a storm. So let's come to the Lord in prayer. Have a silent prayer tonight. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity to pray, Father God, and to uh, uh, tell us you, Father God, all our prayer requests. We heard our uh, prayer list, Lord God, from the very start up to now. I know, Lord God, that hindi uh, sarado ang iyong tenga para marinig Panginoon ang aming pananangin. Hindi maipsi ang iyong kamay para abutin ang aming mga pananangin. Hindi bulad ang iyong mga mata para hindi makita ang aming mga panangailangan. But still, Father God, we thank you because you are a great God. You are God in control of everything that we have right now in our lives. Alam ko na, Lord, you know, on, na may plano ka at meron kong magandang design niyo, Lord God, na gagawin po sa amin. That's why, Father God, all our prayer requests, especially those sa may mga karamdaman, we go to pray for you, Father God, Pastor Larry Lamento. We are praying for him. We need to pray for him. Sister Mary uh, Mabadot, Father God, we need to pray for our Sister Mary, Lord God, the husband of Sir M. Elite, Pastor Ernie Mabadot, Lord God, and the family Mabadot. We pray, Father God, na ikaw Panginoon ang magabis on Lord Jesus. And also, Father God, we pray for every people that right now, Lord God, is experiencing some trauma because of the coronavirus. We pray, Father God, for all PUIs and PUMs, and also, Lord God, for the uh, virus infected. We pray for them that it will be healing, Lord God, upon their lives. We pray for that. We also pray for Sister Charity uh, Hernandez. Right now, Father God, she was very sick, Lord God. We pray for her that will be healing and recovery for her life. We pray, Father God, for our uh, Nanay Goran Morena. We pray for the complete recovery and healing upon her, Lord Jesus. We pray, Father, that all brethren, hindi ka magbabit ang pangalan, Lord God, is isa from Maranatha International Baptist Church of Malignan. We pray for all of them who are suffering right now of some illnesses, heartaches, Lord God, and even emotion, Lord God, and even spiritual struggle, Lord God, we are praying for them, Lord Jesus. And even in Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church, we pray for them, Lord Jesus. 
Lord, nakita mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga panalangin, hindi binasa namin sa isa. But Lord, I know, kahit hindi man namin nargan na banggit, hindi dito, di kali, Panginoon, po, nalalaman, Panginoon, ang aming mga panalangin. Lord, we continue to pray for Brother Sherwin's uh, coming in Psalm. We pray, Father God, that he be able to surpass or be able to pass the examination of God. And please, please, Lord, God, take care of him, Father God. And also, our brethren from abroad, we are praying for them, the Cyprus members and the uh, 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 in the uh, Middle East, in Kingdom Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, Singapore, uh, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Japan, Hong Kong, all our brethren from different places, Lord, we pray for them. We thank you, Father, God, for, your, for the lives of every people that trust in you, Father. And also we pray for our government, for our president, the Therapy. And we pray for his government, Lord God, that we may give them, Father, God, enough wisdom an idea, Lord God, to help be able to overcome this pandemic, Lord God, in this world. We pray for the vaccine, we pray for the medi medical assistance, and of course, we pray for everything, for every current virus, Lord God. We pray for them. Lahat ang mga bawat doktor, ang health workers, and lahat ang mga medical staff, lahat ang mga men in uniforms, we pray for them, and all the volunteers who are performing their duties for the safety and security of our nation. We pray, Father God, for every uh, nation, Lord God, especially in America, we pray for Uh, the, the situation right now, Lord God, because of the racism, Lord God. Uh, we pray for for the, uh, uh, the the unity and peace, Lord God, upon that place. We pray for every pastor, is also a frontliners. We pray for our pastor Adona, that he may keep him safe and sound every day, Lord God, that his schedule, even in his work and even his travel going to Texas and everywhere, Lord God, may continue to guide him, give Father God, keep him safe and sound as well as his family here in the Philippines, Lord God. We also pray for uh, all our brethren, our sister church, Pastor Brian Miller, and the MBC and the Miller family, and the MBC brethren, Lord God, who's right now listening and watching right now. Pastor Brother Garza, Sister Emily, Sister Leticia, Sister Martha, uh, and, and, and the rest of uh, brethren from abroad, from, from uh, Allen, Texas, from Mexico, from Seattle, and from different places, Lord God, of this world. We pray for, for the Uh, complete healing of our of the nation, of every nation for God in regards to coronavirus pandemic. Lord God. Father God, we continue to pray, trust you, Lord God. We are now praying, Lord God, that we may be able to value the persistent praying of every every Christians, every individual who trusts in you, be able to be reminded that we need to give value, Lord God, the prayer time. Lord, sana magyari po sa amin, Lord God. At the importance, Lord God, that that the value of this prayer, God, I may invade your God sa bawat pusat. And also, Father, we're going to pray for Buesa family, for Sister uh, Margie and uh, uh, all the Buesa, Lord God. We're going to pray for, for their family, Lord God, that they may be able to surpass the pain, the agony of uh, pain, Lord God, uh, for the loss of uh, their child, Lord God. We're going to pray for them. Lord, we keep, uh, keep uh, always a uh, Thank you, Lord God, for the blessings that you have given to us, our family, the Lord's family, Marcus family, Dr. family, and Tan family, the um, family, Lord's family, Victoria family, the Rosario family, and the Barra family, and the rest of the family, Lord God, families, Lord God, na hindi po mabangit Panginoon, but we are praying for them. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness and kindness upon our lives. Lord, alam po namin na ikaw nakakaalam na babagin na natin. So, maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, and we continue to bring back to you all the glory and honor and praises. Thank you for the reminders, thank you for the light of this writer of Book of Psalms, chapter 55, that really gave, gives us a great reminders for us that we need to give value to your panalangin, Panginoon. And do not stop in praying, because I know and we know, Father God, that God is always present, that God is always here with us to guide us and to protect us. Lord, we thank you, we praise you. Ngayon tayo kami sa magdamag na patayinan. Gabayan Panginoon ang aming pagtulog, gawas ng bukasan at pagkatao kami ng magandang lakas at kapangatawan at magandang buhay. And please always continue to keep us safe and sound. Cover us, Father God, of your Holy Spirit and your Spirit against COVID virus. Salamat Panginoon. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Church. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Of course, I would like to greet happy birthday to all brethren who are celebrating their birthdays in the month of June. Your birthday, your anniversary, congratulations and happy birthday. Of course, I would like also to greet happy birthday to my father, biological father, Dr. Even though he's not here present, 
in this world that I know is in heaven, but still we're celebrating and remembering his birthday today, June 10. I love you, God. I love you. I love you. Happy birthday to you. So, salamat po mga kapatid. Lahat po na yung mga June birthdays. Happy birthday, of course, to my pinsan. Salute to you, Brother Tol uh, Aslan Alan Ribakis. Happy, advance, happy birthday to you. Binabati kita ng maligayang maligayang karawan sa iyo. Pagpalain ka ng Panginoon at ang buong kami ng Ribakis at ang mga malita sa buhay na ribat. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat ng magkapalit sa buhay na aking na pinsan na ito. And also, thank you so much to our brethren, the Rasal family, kay JJ and the rest of the family. Thank you so much, my mga family, at sa lahat po ng pamilya ng aming mga uh, mahal sa buhay. Salamat po, at naingat po kayo lahat. Please continue to pray for one another. Always consider that in your prayer request, for your, for your prayer time, lahat po tayo. So, that's it. Thank you so much, Pastor Adona. Take care of yourself. Diyan po sa Anaheim, California, USA. And of course, Pastor Dara Miller. Thank you so much, Dad. Uh, for the Miller family, of course, the brethren from NBC. God bless us all. And keep safe always. And God bless. See you on Sunday. God bless us all. And good night. Hasta luego. Muchos. Thank you. God bless.